read 11 books in November, and most of them were novellas. Ma'ayong Pasko, everyone! My name is Ezra, and welcome back to my channel. So, November wasn't really one of my most productive reading months, and I only ended up reading 11 books. <laughs> And I said, they were mostly novellas. So I did kind of participate in the novella November challenge um, hosted by Dana Cuadrado and Kelly. But I didn't really read the buddy read books that they selected. And I wasn't really focusing on the challenge because November wasn't really that great for me. So... Anyway, I'm really hoping that December will be better, but I... not sure. I don't know. So anyway, I know it's Christmas. I'm actually filming in the living room so that you guys can see our Christmas decorations. So we, I did put it up during Thanksgiving because um, we don't really celebrate Thanksgiving, but we do celebrate Christmas and it's one of my favorite holidays. So today I want to share my current stats for the year. I actually read a total of 93 books. This includes rereads. I did a few rereads. I actually reread a couple of books twice this year. 93 is pretty low for me, but this year has been a total shit show. And yeah, I there were months where I wasn't really reading that much. So I think it's fine, but I hope that I'm going to get my mojo back soon. And I did make an ambitious TBR for December. So for the breakdown of my reads, I read a total of 11 books, seven were ebooks, and four were audiobooks. I kind of was going to read a book, a physical copy of the book, but I decided to get the audiobook instead because I was going to read it at night. I didn't have any time to read it during the day. So I went with the ebook for this one, but I do have a physical copy of one of the books. All right. So without further ado, let's start with the DNFs. I did DNF one book this month and it was actually one of my most anticipated reads of the month. And the book is Sacrifice by Katie Robert. This is the first book in her Bloodline Vampires series. I read this on ebook. I actually purchased a copy of this book, but I didn't really like it. I talked a little bit about this book in my PNR readathon vlog, so I'm going to link that in the description or maybe somewhere here so that you can find out what I thought about it. But I just thought that it was really slow um, and I was totally lost in the world. It's a new vampire world, um, so the world building, in my opinion, wasn't that great. And it is erotic romance. It's MMMF. And I kind of checked out after the third uh, vampire came in. So I don't know what happened after that. But I mean, it is steamy, but I just didn't really care for it. So I only had one DNF. Then let's proceed to my one star read. I also had one one star read book and it is Bloodless by Larissa Ayon. This was a freebie from her uh, website. Actually, it's it was a freebie on Smashwords. And this book is this novella. <laughs> I don't even know if this is called a novella, but this is erotica and this was only three chapters. Basically, this vampire queen captures this guy and she basically turns him into a vampire and now he's the king. That's that. There's a lot of banging. It's just that. So that was a one star read for me. One star only because I did finish the book. The three chapters. <laughs> Very short. So I thought it was worth one star. I actually didn't have two star reads for the month of... November, but I did have a few three-star reads. Some of these three-star reads are actually favorites, um, and I guess I just got caught up in the hype, so I usually try not to read books 
that are overly hyped right away but i was intrigued by a couple of the books that i rated three stars so let's start with the first one the first one is the roommate by rosie danan i got the audiobook for this and this was a dual pov was well, actually in third person but the there were two narrators and while the audiobook was really great i personally thought the story was okay i thought the romance was okay the heroine i actually forgot her name but the heroine was a little meh i think i think the reason why a lot of people really liked it was because there is the hero is actually a porn star and he is actually i think he's actually a cinnamon roll hero he's really sweet um and i did like him but i wasn't really wowed by the whole story and i want to share something with you guys <laughs> one of my first jobs here in california when i was 21 was actually a data entry clerk for one of the adult magazine publications <laughs> so it was a little bit interesting to read um, The Roommate because we we're looking at the POV of the actors and actresses of these movies, right? So in my job before, we were actually tasked to enter into this database the real names and the stage names of these actors and actresses and then making sure that we upload all the documents in their system. So we had to include the release forms and then the name of the movies that they shot um, and then include that into the database. So it was pretty interesting. And one of the things that, and now that I think about like looking back at this, you know, looking back at my job, uh, my previous job, that was pretty shocking because the female actresses were actually paid less than the male actors. So, yeah. I mean, and, and that's kind of why, like, I like in this, in this aspect of The Roommate, um, the hero's kind of co-star slash ex-girlfriend is really seen as like an empowered person so i really liked her and and if there is a second book hopefully it's her hea because i really wanted her story the heroine in 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 the roommate was a little bit wishy-washy for me that's why i gave it three stars and yes on the weirdest job ever but it was fun i did not get to see any of the actors and actresses um but at one point i kind of knew their real names and their stage names <laughs> very interesting i don't know if i should say that anyway so the next three star read that i have is bound by night by larissa ayone this is book one in the moonbound clan vampire series i really like it probably this is a three to three point five star read um this is a new world it's like an alternative earth well alternative current time kind of post-apocalyptic vampire thing um but the vampire lore here is different again i talked a little bit about this in my pnr readathon vlog this book does have like a teaser for the next um book in the series and i'm really interested to read about that i don't know if i'm gonna read it now or maybe like in a few months later or maybe in january i don't know let's see what happens and what my mood is for december so the next book is Their Second Chance by Katie Robert. This is book 3.5 in the Thelenian Dynasty series. And I got this on ebook. This is also a novella. I thought this was okay. This was again kind of more erotica, very short. So I said I was I think I was able to read it in like a couple days. So this book is a second chance romance between a princess and a bodyguard. And so I think this is a continuation of the series. I read I think the novella and the first book in the Thelenian Dynasty series. So basically, this is the sister of the king, or the heir of the throne. Um, and so what happens is they had a fling and then like months, years later, well, they had to break up. And then years later, here they are. I think there's a wedding. But again, it was so quick. There's a lot of steamy. <laughs> I think most of it is just 
sexy times for a short book it actually had a, a lot of plot so i did i thought it was okay not the not the greatest that katie has written um and as you can see this month was kind of like a katie robert binge month because i read a lot of katie robert books this month so let's move on to the next one the next one is halloween boo by sarah spade this is book one in the holiday hunk series and in this book, the hero is a ghost who fell in love with the girl who moved into his old apartment. So this one, I had high expectations for this book. A lot of people recommended this book that it was amazing. But unfortunately, I thought it was okay. I guess because at the end of the book, there is kind of like a, a twist in the story and then... Okay, I'm not going to say anything. I did, I think I spoiled it in my vlog. So if you want to listen to my PNR Readathon vlog, you can go there. And, um, but I'm just going to say that there is a twist in this book that I personally didn't care for. I thought it was just too over the top. Maybe too fantastical. I mean, considering that the guy is a ghost, but I just... I just thought it was not. No, I know. I didn't like it. <laughs> All right. So let's move on to my four star reads. I actually have three four star reads and I was so happy that I decided to pick these books. So the first book is Mating the Huntress by Talia Hibbert. This is the first book in the Monsters and Mates series and this is a shifter romance. I absolutely loved it. The only reason why I gave it four stars is that in the end it was a little bit rushed but like the build up of these two characters was fantastic. I love it. Werewolf trope, the shifter werewolf trope is also different. It's new. It's a different. It's a different world. Um, but again, it's it was it was amazing. I did not feel like it was a novella. It's it's a novella, and I did not think that it was really short. I thought it was really well done. Um, again, my only complaint is the end, because I think the end was a little bit too rushed. But I like this. So the hero is a werewolf, and the heroine is actually from a family of slayers. Well, not vampire slayers, but werewolf slayers. Let's just say slayers. So again, it's a different take on the werewolf trope. The werewolf doesn't really look like a werewolf as what is described in the book. So he doesn't really look like a, he is a wolf, but it's kind of like a man wolf-ish. I don't know. If you guys watch uh, the old um, Japanese like Power Rangers type of movies, you'll see one of those like hairy beasts that can walk into legs. That's what I picture the werewolf to be. But this book, I did not expect it to be very steamy. Wow. The chemistry is off the charts. And again, as I said, the build up to the romance is amazing. So this is like a Romeo and Juliet romance because the hero... Um, is a werewolf and of course the heroine's family you know kills werewolves um and this is my first talia hibbert book so i'm really excited to read other books by her now the next book is another katie robert book and it is gifting me to his best friend and this is book two in the touch of taboo series i love this book the first book i absolutely hated <laughs> But this book is amazing. Again, classic, classic Katie Robert. It's absolutely steamy. But there is plot. There is development. And basically, the title is just the couple is married, the husband has a best friend, and they usually go to trips together. So, oh, by the way, this is also a holiday read. So they get snowed in, in this cabin. And... The husband says, I'm going to give you to my best friend. And they do the deed. And they do the deed together. And they do all three of them. And I tell you, this is plot wise so good. I even love the development between the relationship that the, um, the romantic relationship between the hero, the guy. And then the husband. Now, I can't remember names right now. I can't remember names. 
I'm sorry, I can't remember names. <laughs> but Katie Robert, perfect. Katie Robert writes amazing sexy times. Guaranteed. The next four star book that I read is actually another book by Katie Robert. And I'm so happy that I picked this up. I have no idea why I picked this up, but it has been on my radar for a while. The book is The Marriage Contract, and this is book one in the O'Malley's series. This is actually a romantic suspense slash mafia romance, and it's not too out there. This is actually not self-published, and man, again, Katie Robert can write sexy times like nobody's business. This is top-notch steam, and wow <laughs> the development between the two characters is amazing so the heroine here her name is Callista. i finally remember her character name thank god so the heroine Callista is forced to marry the heir of another family another mafia family and he actually ends up dead so she is instead forced to marry another the second son of another mafia family and his name is teague he is so amazing i think he's cute <laughs> anyway this is an amazing book i love the romance and of course the thrill so it is revealed who kills the ex-fiance with that in mind the thrill is actually between the rivalry between all of these the three families the three mafia families and I, I love the morally gray characters here. I actually am already listening to book two in the series because it's great. And again, so good. The relationship development, again, is just amazing. I highly recommend this book. If you haven't, pick this up. All right, so we've moved to my five-star books for the month. I actually have only two books that I rated five stars. And the first book is As a Goth by Larissa Ayon. This is actually book number one in the Demonica Underworld series. It's also book 5.5 in the Lords of Deliverance series. And it's book 11 in the Demonica series. <laughs> That's a mouthful. But so Larissa Ayon does have this huge Demonica series and you can read them uh, in order. But within that Demonica series, there are sub series. So I did pick up book one in the Lords of Deliverance series. So I highly recommend that if you want to read Azagoth, read book one in the Lords of Deliverance series until 5.5. Well, as a goth is not a main character in this in this full um, Lords of Deliverance series, he does have a role, um, and he is mentioned in the series. So I I do highly recommend this series. I think I'm gonna go back and read Demonica book one, and then just go ahead and read the other books in the Demonica series because it's really great. The world is just fantastic. So I actually finished this book on November 1st. This is actually part of the 1001 Nights um, series as well. So uh, the audiobook for this one was part of the Audible Escape package. And as you know, Audible Escape ended on November 1st. So I actually put my phone on airplane mode so I can finish the freaking book. This book had me ugly crying like ugly crying i think i slept like at 3 a.m just to finish this book and wow very good so as a goth is actually a grim reaper and the heroine in the book is actually an angel um i talk more about this in my pnr readathon vlog so you're more than welcome to watch that video so that you can hear my thoughts but Highly, highly recommend it. It is a novella, but it does not read like a novella. It's pretty well written, and I felt like it was a full novel. <laughs> Finally, the last book that I gave five stars for is Betrothed by Elizabeth Elliot. You guys need to read this book. This is actually book two in the Montague series. While you can read this book as a standalone, the main characters in 
book one are actually mentioned and one of the villains in book one is actually connected to one of the characters in this book. So anyway, I did make a video about this book comparing it to Prisoner of My Desire by Joanna Lindsay. So I highly recommend that you watch that video. I'll link that in the description box. or also up here if I can link it. I think I rated this four stars before, but now this one is five stars because Guy of Montague, the hero, is amazing. So this book is a medieval old school romance and it was published in 1996. So highly recommend this. And if you want to read a spoilery discussion of this book, I'm going to link the video in the description box below. Anyway, those are all my reads for this month. Please let me know how many books you read in November and which books were your favorite. Also, let me know if you've read any of the books that I mentioned here and tell me how you feel about them in the comment section below because yes, I do want to talk about it with you. Tell me if you loved any of the books that I did not give high ratings for because I want to know what you think. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so, so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in another video.